woman. Train a woman. It's a day dedicated to women in the oil and gas sector as the Pengasan Energy and Labor Summit enters the third and final day. Omoibia, you are The major issue on the front burner is the rampant casualization of workers in the sector. I recall that I think about sometime last year, we had a case in one of the oil servicing companies and um, the National Assembly invited to Federal Ministry of Labor to come and assist them in a case of public petition. And this were a group of workers who claimed that they had worked in a particular organization for upwards of about, in some cases, 20, 30 years. And at each point, they will be passed on to the other, such that after 30 years, of course, they were looking for terminal benefits, Abe. And then it became a controversial issue. And then they asked us from Federal Ministry of Labor to come and provide guidance as to how they will resolve the matter. And you know, I found it very interesting when one of the management staff trying to this, describe or defend their position, I think she said something like, oh, we just passed them to another person. Another, he didn't want to use an employer. Another agent. The national president of Pengasan frowns at the conditions of service in some organizations in the sector, which is a major reason for picketing by the labor unions. Um, one of the greatest constraints that trade unions has passed through in Nigeria is because our institutions are weak. In other climes, it is difficult as an expatriate for you to get paper to even work in some certain countries. In some certain countries, the terms of engagement between the employees and the employers are well spread out, and government agencies, they enforce them to the latter. As the 2022 Pengasan Labor and Energy Summit winds down, it is expected that major issues discussed, like oil theft, staff welfare and motivation, as well as government labor relations, will get the needed attention, just as all stakeholders have participated in the activities.